let me begin, first of all, by publicly thanking our senior senator for his endorsement.
disagreement among us. And it might be thus. Which would be more harmful, an Obama presidency or another Clinton presidency? <laughs> but we can all agree that four years of Jay Nixon as our next governor would be devastating to our state. When the Democrats were in power in Jefferson City and the budget was out of control, do we want to go back? No! Under the previous de the Democrat administration, nearly one out of five Missourians was on public assistance. Do we want to go back? No! When the Democrats controlled our state government, we led the country in jobs lost. Do we want to go back? No! During the most recent 12-year reign of Democratic governors, and state government had two words for every problem, raise taxes. Do we want to go back? No. In fact, when the Democrats were in control and they say good held money from our public schools almost every single year, do we want to go back? No. Before our party took over, and public employees, that is employees that you and I who pay their salaries, should they be able to unionize? Do we want to go back? And then just a few years ago, abusive lawsuits driving our doctors out of our small towns and inner cities, sending them either to early retirement or chasing them to other states. Do we want to go back? No. Well, there is one man who wants to take us back, ladies and gentlemen, and his name is Jeremiah J. Nixon. Now, now some candidates run their campaigns out of a bus. Jay Nixon is running his campaign out of a time machine. <laughs> He's trying to put the pages back on the calendar and take us back to a place where special interests are in charge and where power matters more than people. But you and I are not going to let that happen, are we? No! Our next governor must have the ability and the resolve to make tough choices. Sometimes our governor will have to do the right thing over the politically popular thing. And that to me is the very essence, the definition of leadership, doing what is right when no one is looking, or doing what is hard when everyone is looking. Jay Nixon got his training in the politics of Jefferson City. I got mine in courtrooms all across the state of Missouri many of the counties from which you came, prosecuting our state's worst criminals. And there I learned that leadership requires unshakable moral clarity, that there's a bright line between right and wrong, that the facts are the facts and the law is the law, and credit for success doesn't just go to individuals. Credit for success should go to principles. Admit, my friends, that is exactly the kind of governor that I want to be. I have hope. I am the product of the Missouri Green. And I know that there's been some suggestion about those who serve in the halls of Congress that we should look at them perhaps with a negative eye. I respectfully disagree. I don't see it that way. I don't think John Ashcroft sees it that way. I don't think Roy Blunt or Joy Nixon or Sam Graves or Todd Aiken or even Jack Danforth, Kit Bond or Jim Town. And I've served the post. I'm proud to have served. And to those of you here gathered under this giant Numeral 9, I want to tell you that it's been an awesome privilege and responsibility to be your voice and to represent your values, and I thank you for that opportunity. 